everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I decided to film another empties video because I've been collecting a couple of things over the last couple of weeks and I just decided to share them with you once again. Um, I was actually unpacking all of this out of a little bag a couple of minutes ago and there was a huge spider in the bag. If you follow me on Instagram you might have seen the spider drama over there on, over on my stories. But yeah, it was crazy. Ugh, I hate spiders so much. So my camera's already flashing, the battery's already flashing, so wish me luck and let's hope I get to film this whole video. Let's go. What I'm going to start with is some skincare. The first item I finished are some simple um, makeup removing wipes. So these are the cleansing facial wipes that everybody knows, everybody raves about them. I love these. Um, I don't take my makeup off with wipes, I take it off with Garnier Micellar Water, which is another thing that I have over here that's empty. Um, this is just the best thing for me, I always, always take my makeup off with this, and I always mention this everywhere, so I feel like I'm not going to talk too much about this. Um, but yeah, finished another 700, 700 um bottle, and I already have another one that I repurchased. Really, really would recommend this if you're looking for something um, that doesn't irritate your skin or anything like that. Perfect for this. But I always feel like afterwards I need kind of like a toner or something else just to take that extra like layer of makeup off. Just in case the Garnier Micellar Water didn't take all of it off, if that makes sense. So then I go in with some simple wipes and I just take one wipe and kind of just wipe my face with that. And you can see that there's still some makeup left on my face. So um, that's what I use with uh, facial wipes for, just to kind of make sure that my skin is all clean. And yeah, I don't take my makeup off with these because I feel like I'd need like three wipes to take my whole face of makeup off. And I don't know, it's just really harsh for your skin. So I use these just to make sure that my skin is finished and clean. Another packet of uh, wipes that I have here are the Garnier Micellar Extra Gentle Cleansing Wipes, which are basically the micellar water that I mentioned, but in wipe form. Um, I liked these. I wasn't as big of a fan of these as I am of the simple wipes, so I won't be repurchasing these. I'll definitely repurchase simple wipes. I already have them in my drawer once again. Um, yeah, they were good. They were on, uh, I think they were on offer. That's why I got them to try them out. But um, yeah, I feel like simple wipes are a little bit more uh, wet, so they're a little bit better. But yeah, they were good. They didn't irritate my skin but um, I still prefer simple wipes. For my micellar water, I always mention that I use the Penny's Oval Cosmetic Pads and they're like the big, big ones. Um, I just feel like the small ones are really small and I have to use two or three of those when removing my makeup. But if I get the big ones, I tend to use only one and that's what I really, really like. And this huge packet is only two euros. So I feel like if you, if you're using the small oval cosmetics, oval cosmetics, oval cosmetic pads, please, please, please try the big ones. I don't know, it's just so much better. Um, you save so much time and so many oval cosmetics. Why do I keep saying oval cosmetics? Oval pads, makeup removing pads, whatever they're called. These are better. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I then have a hand cream which is kind of in half because I wanted to get everything out of it. So there it is. Um, it's from Oriflame and it's called Soft Cares Protecting Hand and Nail Cream Hydrate Skin and Helps Condition Nails Infused with Macadamia Oil. Um, this is one of my favourite hand creams. I always, always get my mum to repurchase it for me. Um, it's just really nice. It smells really nice. Um, it dries in really really fast and yeah I really enjoy it. Next I have Listerine Stay White Mouthwash. I picked this up before I went on holidays and I really like it. Um, I think this is my favourite one, my favourite mouthwash, mouthwash, although it's really really minty. So next time I'm picking this up I want to pick it up in like the mild version I think because sometimes when I like Put this in my mouth, I'm just like, oh, it's so minty. But um, yeah, mouthwash, 
I love a good mouthwash. I have a couple of uh, foundation BB creams. So the first one is the Maybelline BB cream that I had for ages. Someone's someone's going mad. Um, I had it for ages and I've used it on holidays and I really really liked it. But I I think they discontinue it. Discontinued it. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I can't find it on the Boots website. It's always sold out. It's like out of stock. Um, but I would really, really love to report it, repurchase this. So let me know if Maybelline has the Dream Fresh BB Cream still because it was really good and I really liked it. I also used up the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation in the shade 103 True Ivory. This is my go-to foundation. Um, I always, always, always use this. Um... Yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's really nice. It's medium to buildable kind of coverage. Well, it's light to medium coverage and it is buildable. Um, yeah, I just really like the finish of it and I think it's going to be always my favourite foundation. So I have backups of that already as well. Next concealer, um, Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade number one. Again, this is another thing. I always use this. I always repurchase this. Um, I tend to get it in shade 1 and 2. 2 I use kind of all around my face and then number 1 I use underneath my eyes. Um, really good, really nice, um, high coverage and very cheap. <laughs> so I guess what? I repurchased it as well. It's over there. Surprise, surprise. I also have the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I use this up as well. I really, really love this. Again, I have a backup over there in my makeup bag. I really want to try the, what's it called? Um, what's the other setting spray? All Nighter Setting Spray. I really want to try that one because I've never tried that one and I always use the Chill one. I feel like there's still something left. Maybe not, Never mind. but I can still hear something. Then I have a couple of body washes. The first one is the Imper Imperial Imperial Leather um, Foam Burst Luxurious Body Wash. And it's the Moisturizing Golden Honey and Almond Milk one. So it's the foam um, body wash. I really loved the concept of this. Um, it says 40 showers per bottle. I feel like that could be correct. Um, you only need a tiny amount of this because it literally lathers up so much and yeah, I really like this. I love the smell of that so I'm definitely going to uh, repurchase this. I don't know, it was just really fun to use. And then the other one is from Bath & Body Works and it's Mad About You Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel. It looks like this. Um, I had this in Aaron's house in his shower and I used it in his house and whenever... Whenever I had a shower, he said that I smell like Calpol. I've never tried Calpol, I've never smelled Calpol, um, so I'm not sure, but he said it literally smells like Calpol. So um, there is the scent for you described in, if you know Calpol. <laughs> Another thing is a shower gel, and not shower gel, um, a deodorant. I really like this, I have a small version of this in my bag, um, but funny story with this. I actually used this about three times, it was in my uh, drawer and the other day I went to pick something up from it and like the little box that I have everything in, it was like soaked and I was like what's the story with that? So I picked this up and I tried to spray it and there's nothing left in the bottle and like the bottle was full so it must have just like, I don't know, like just came out of the bottle and went all over the place which I don't know how it happened because the lid was like closed I don't know, so it just left the bottle, it didn't want to be in the bottle, it wanted to be in my drawer. So I only used it three times, so that's not cool. Let me know if that happened to you before. Um, I don't know, it was lying down, maybe that was the issue? I don't know. But yeah, I'm kind of sad because it just wasted like the whole bottle of deodorant. But I still want to pick it up again because I really love the scent of it and it was really nice, so um, that's that. Next, I have a conditioner and it's the original mane and tail moisturizer, texturizer, conditioner for thicker, healthier looking hair. Um, I really like this. It made my hair nice and soft. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase it because I don't really 
mind kind of what shampoo or, con or, or conditioner I use. I tend to use just whatever I have. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say really about it. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the smell, of the scent. I don't know. It was good. It made my hair soft. So I guess it was good. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. I don't know. Um, another thing that I finished up the other day is the L'Oreal El Net Satin um, Hairspray. I don't usually use hairspray. I use hairspray about once a month <laughs> um, if I have to. Usually when I straighten my hair or curl my hair, well, I use a hairspray if I curl my hair. If I straighten my hair, I don't use hairspray. But um, I need to pick it up because I have a wedding uh, next week, so I need to pick up another hairspray. So I think this video goes up on Thursday. So if you have any hairsprays, um, hairspray uh, suggestions, what I should pick up next, let me know. I really like this. I'm not fussy about hairsprays once um, the hairspray doesn't make my hair like, um, what's it called? Like sticky or really dry. So let me know what holds curls really nicely because I'm going to curl my hair. <laughs> then I have the Sure Maximum Protection Confident um, deodorant, which I always repurchase. Again, I have a backup over there. Um, it's a really good deodorant. I feel like it's one of the best ones that I've ever used. So, big thumbs up from me to sure. <laughs> Lush Mask of Magnaminti. I feel like I've mentioned this in my last video. Did I mention this in my last video? My last empties video? I think I did. I think I'm. that was in the bag just so I can keep the pot and bring it back. Yeah. Watch my la last video to see what um, I think of this. <laughs> so that's everything that I used up in the last couple of weeks. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you let me know what are the items that you um, used up recently and what you would repurchase. Again, let me know about the hairspray because I would love to know. And yeah, I really hope you're having a lovely day. I'm currently chilling and waiting for Aaron to come over. And yeah, that's all. I'm also catching up on some uh, Love Island from last night because my internet was playing up and I just couldn't watch it. So yeah, I'm catching up on that before tonight's episode. Let me know if you watch Love Island. I've been hooked on it. I've never watched it like in the past years, but um, I'm really obsessed with it now and I just want to watch it all the time. So, um, so yeah, let me know who's your favourite. I think my favourite is Danny and Jack. They just, they're just so cute together. And Adam is like doing my head in it's he's so annoying and now Wes is annoying me as well because they're like changing their mind like socks anyway I'm gonna go now and stop rambling and I will speak to you in my next video bye